Well, hey everybody, today is Wednesday, September come and go. And I hadn't rode a bike in two weeks. I, sometimes we have to do that. Man, man, getting back in bike shape is tough after taking two and a half years off to do CrossFit. It's two different animals, CrossFit shape and bike. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Okay. That was the last of the U.S. made Cannondales. Yeah. Well, hey, everybody. Today is Wednesday, September the 11th. I'm at the come and go and I hadn't rode a bike in two weeks I took two weeks off to let my body heal up and give myself a break sometimes we have to do that man getting back in bike shape is tough after taking two and a half years off to do CrossFit it's two different animals CrossFit shape and bicycle shape now I got to get into swimming shape so I'll be adding the swimming on to it too. And I need to walk. Uh, this time of year I start a walking program. I don't run except to test my uh, cardio. In the, in the fall of the year, in the spring of the year, I do it twice a year. I try to see if I can get down to a seven minute mile. And uh, then I stop because I don't want to tear my knees up. I've been doing that for years and years. So, if I was to try to do a triathlon in the years to come, like say I'm 80, 85, I want to be able to win that some bum. You know what I mean? Because all them old guys, I done done them in the 90s, and all them old guys, they had done blew their knees out and uh, they couldn't run. So I'm saving my knees for the run best thing I know to do and I ain't in no hurry to prove I could you know go fast right now as it running and how far could I run yeah that just all that is is just too much impact on the knees that's why riding a bicycle and swimming and walking uh, suit me just fine well this is 9-11 another trip around the sun Sure enough, coming up on baby Jesus. Got, gotta love baby Jesus. Where's my finger right there? I'm in the shade, I can't even see. I got these glasses. But uh, yeah, I ain't gonna try to say too much about 9-11 right now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me stop. Oh, that thing is beautiful. What year model? It's uh, first year they came out with the was 62. A uh, 62 and it's a Sonova. Did you say Sonova? I never heard of that. It sure is pretty. Oh, it's a Nova. Nova. Yeah, Chevy Nova 2. Chevy Nova 2. Oh, man, it's got a low profile. It looks really good with the skirts. That was worth your dollar, wasn't it? Yeah. And it came with factory air? No, that's after. Boy, he cranked up. I ain't nobody can hear nothing like Looks really good. 
Are these the right tires? I'm sorry. Are those the right tires for it? They still got four bolt lugs. I never had the front end and rear end change. They still got four, four lugs. This breaks all the way around. I never changed that. New paint. Oh, I've had it repainted from the post to the top. I just had the complete wiring done on it. Do you know uh, how many they made that year? That I don't know. Most of them are hard tops. It's hard to find them. It's a 62. I'll look it up. Good riddance to that guy. <laughs> I'll look it up. I'm going to make a video about it. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the description. Uh, what, how many they made? In 1962, Chevrolet produced 23,741 Nova two-door convertibles. It could be rare. Well, you said you don't find the convertibles. You find the hard times. Everybody made them in the That is a shame to have a car that loud. My days of that are long time gone. Yeah, I, I want I want a just slow ride. Thank you for showing it to me. No problem. I'm, I'm gonna get that gas cap. Oh yeah, you you're quiet. There he goes. Ain't that beautiful? A 24, brand new. Yeah, I've got uh, about 2,000 miles on it. It's got bug guts on it already though, so. It's, it looks really good. It's powerful too, ain't it? Uh, it's a 1,000. Yeah, About big. 140 horses. Yeah, big enough. So what are you on? Uh, a Trek Mondon. Trek, a, okay. 2012, one of the last handmade Waterloo's before yeah. they took it to Japan and Taiwan. I've got a Cannondale T2. Okay. That was the last of the U.S. made Cannondales. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, I, I don't know. I, I To replace it, it would be... Right at uh, eight to fourteen thousand dollars, I paid three thousand six hundred.